Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean. These bad people. It's they, me. They I'm... stole you from me. Father. I'm your dad. What's going on? What's happening? Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. Yes. What's going on? It's me. Father? Your dad. Father! I'm here, Sean. Sean. Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, are Sean. Are you okay? I'm here You're now. not hurt, are you? I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. 
There's someone here. Help me. Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Damn it. Sean, open the door. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the... Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. Mm-hmm. Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know. I know. You've gone. Mm -hmm. Please. All I want to do is find my baby. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. Mother. Father. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... it's really you. Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learn that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Sean! I've been looking for you for so long. I'm sorry, Mother. I know it was likely difficult for you. But... What matters now is that you and I have a chance... to begin again. To be a family. <laughs> it... It wasn't like... what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far, the human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been...